This is KVCI.blogspot.com and Doc Ghetto Child on YouTube. We're in the city of Valdosta, Georgia. Last night we had a historic moment. What was that moment, my brother? Where we have the first black mayor of the city of Valdosta of 152 years. And that was very historic and it should have made the headlines of the newspaper and it should have read Valdosta, city of the south, first black mayor in the, for the first 152 years. Oh, you say that should have been the headline? Why do you feel like that should have been the headline? Well, uh, it's like so many other things. We've been shut out and left in the dark on so many other things and issues. It's, it's, it's regrettable that it had to come about the manner that it did. But, you know, when God is in the making of something, can't nothing change that. And there's a lot of other issues going to change. This is very historic, and it's, and it's a lot of regrettable people here today. This morning, there's a lot of people regret that this man is the mayor. You think so? Oh, of course, so because it changed the structure of things, changed it completely. The 162nd anniversary that they celebrate every year yes, sir. might have a different flavor this year. Well, they have a different flavor for different uh, ethnic groups anyway, and it seemed like to me, in my most humble opinion, that if we're going to talk about the 1800s, we also need to talk about slavery. And when they have it up on the monument, they also need to have Nat Turner. Yes, they right. should have Rosewood. They should have things that took place in the community for that particular time period, not just a segment of Caucasian people, but for Hispanics. We know that Valdosta, I think, is a, is a Hispanic name. Yes. Some people don't know Spanish anyway. And so what it is is that uh, we all believe, all of us of a right mindset, want inclusion and not exclusion at, at this period in, in American history. And, and you know, it, it's not a thing pertaining to just racism, but when the fight was there, it's there. But we believe that it's just an equality for everyone, equilibrium for all of them. Um, one nation under God, okay? And we all have rights. And right now, um, there is a, it still is a dark cloud hanging over this city and this county because there have been violations, violations of Section 3 that was, in, that was inaugurated in 1968 of misappropriation of federal funds. And we're going to find out, uh, can somebody give an account for all of this money that's been knew by these people, by the hands of these people that they got in behalf of the people that the people never once saw or uh, was able to benefit their own. We have been totally excluded in this city until now. And Doc, Doc, let me interrupt you. I'm, I'm sorry. I, know, I, I, I think I don't want to lose it. You have been saying it at least for two and a half years. And you stood. You didn't get in the closet nowhere to say it. You said it before city council. Said it was prominent people in the community, and at that meeting, you said that there have been a pattern and practice of locking the blacks and other poor whites out of the economic pie. Did you not say that for city council? Which is all here is all related, is it not? Yeah, yes, it is. All tied in, and our news media seem as if. They are the promoters by not promoting the factual truth to reveal the underhanded things that have been occurring here in our city. Perhaps, you know, this is this is by the hand of God that these things are happening. We can't help what people do, what people have done, and how things be revealed. There's a truth saying, whatsoever you do in the dark will come to the light. And every man shall reap what he sow. And it also seemed that in 2003, 2004, when I noticed, I believe it was inspired of God, it inspired me to look on the wall to see that 1860 charter, because that charter, I'm sorry to say it, but it seemed like to me it is the heartbeat of this community and has been since the 1800s, and it says, control, suppress, and abate slaves and persons of color along with hogs, dogs, and horses. Now, if, like my brother just said, if our children and coming generations pick up today's newspaper, regardless of how you may feel about my beautiful brother, Sonny Vickers, 
regardless, let's just lay that aside. When they pick up that paper, instead of them seeing the front page, say a hundred years from now, saying Valdos the first black mm -hmm. mayor, it won't read that way. Therefore, it's just like what I've been saying before, if we don't keep a running history of our own history, then our history will be lost forever. Now, over with 13 days ago, over in Quitman, Georgia, just 18 miles away, I was called about Michael Ryan, an aide for Representative Santa Bishop, had a firearm pulled on him and held until the police came, and I understand that the police did what they do, but yet there is nothing on radio, on television, or in the newspaper. I have notified all the newspapers that I have access to in the state of Georgia, so everybody will know about it. I am convinced that the reason Valdosta is in the state of the past as it is is because we don't have a news media outlet to keep the people informed. Instead, they keep us all deaf, dumb, and blind. So that's a beautiful point, my brother, yeah. because just yeah. what you said. If, if, if people pick up that paper, last night, and, 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 and let me oh, say this, man. former council member, Ruth Council said it best last night at the meeting, that this is a historic moment. Yeah. Why could not Kay Harris and those in the circles of the newspaper break that story this morning to the people of South Georgia, the state of Georgia, and around the nation, and for our children and coming generations to know that history was made last night. Last night, last night, the first black mayor of the southern city, now Dawson, Georgia. But we're going to stick to this issue because we got to have some answers about the misappropriation of federal funds, and we're going to ride this way. We're going to see why ever since 1968 that if you spend any money on that side, you should have spent some on this side. And why we've been left out and don't have no ownership in a city like this and, and the unemployment. So, you know, the on, crime rate and all this yes. stuff is, is directly re related to certain people getting all the money for the asphalt, all the money for building the schools, all the money of all the money of all the money, while other people are left out, don't even have access to it. And the federal government, since 68, saw a need to try to fix the problem of all these years of discrimination and exclusion and segregation and even after those uh, laws was implemented apparently from what we have learned and we didn't learn it yesterday we've been knowing we've been watching it doctor uh, my beautiful brother here stood before the mayor council over two and a half years ago and we did we saw peaceful means we want we wanted total access we wanted to see them uh, to, to step up to the plate and do what needs to have been done. But I'm sad to say I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah, that means it, my friend. History have been made. And we just stay on what we do. Yes, and we pray that everybody should get on one board and we can make our decisions rise in the right way by people doing the right way. Right on. Before I close this out, I want you to close by giving us one small point about what you said to the mayor, to the city government, you've also said it to county government that we need money on the south side. Yes. Please make that statement and close it out, but we need yes. some money on what side of town we need some money on. We, we definitely need some money on the south side, and I want everybody to remember this. It's not who we claim to be, it's who we prove ourselves to be over a given period of time, and time has proved the historical moment that we are defining here now that last night history was made the first black mayor of the city of Valdosta of 152 years. This is KVCI.blogspot.com, George Boston Ryan with John Robertson, my beautiful brother and friend. You can also go to his uh, YouTube on, on uh, 
Doc Ghetto Child or also Doc Ghetto Child at blogspot.com. We do what we do because we truly, truly love you and we also realize what Jesus said. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set and make you free. Just go in the church, sit down in the pews and refuse to get in the street on the issues that confront our nation. We will always be deaf, dumb, and blind to the times and unable to make intelligence based on facts. And we're here to change that. Even if it costs the overthrowing of the government in your own mind.